Okay, I'm here today. I'm Keith Williams with the Williams and Follows Group, and I'm here today with Rebecca Craig. And Rebecca is the owner of Toronto ADR. It's a mediation group that services all of Southern Ontario. We have worked with her and her organization before. So we wanted to bring her out uh, to you, our clients, and um, uh, let her tell you a little bit about what she does. And um, at the end of it, we'll give you all the contact information if you feel like it's something you need to reach out about. So anyway, Rebecca, uh, you're a mediator. Uh, I am, Keith. I am. Thank you so much for having me. Um, a lot of what you guys do and a lot of what I do tend to collide on, on most situations and sometimes they're good, but for the most part, when we have to meet, it's because there's a dissolution of a relationship. That's certainly a, a big part of our business. Uh, it's an unfortunate part, but uh, it is what it is. It's the reality. And uh, so when it's happening, um, you want to be sure that uh, you're in somebody's hands. It's either going to be a lawyer or a mediator or the courts in this situation, I guess. So let me ask you, why would somebody come to you as opposed to just going to their lawyer? I think, you know what, this this business of mediation is it's not necessarily new, but it's definitely not old. And in this situation, you assume that you've got to go to court, you've got to fight. Um, both time and cost now come into factors, especially now that we're in COVID. It's not something that's feasible. And time-wise, you may want instant gratification. And, and that's, not, that's not what the courts are going to be able to give you. So mediation allows for obviously time to be saved and costs to be saved, but more so relationships to be salvaged. And that's probably more important than anything else. It leaves you intact in a situation that you're very broken. I, I've been through it, I'll be honest, and so has my wife, uh, Lisa. So we're second time arounders. And I can tell you just from experience that, especially if there's kids involved, once you're separated and once you're divorced, you're both still the parents of the kids. Yeah. And for their sake, you still need to be somewhat of a family unit. And you hopefully, are. Hopefully yeah. it's not full of animosity. And I think a mediator uh, can, can help with that, maybe even more than a lawyer. Because I find lawyers, and I've used my share of them, both in business, you know, uh, before, um, they're litigators, and they're, they represent one side and one side only, and that's sort of all they understand. Where a mediator, I think, does a little what we do in real estate transactions. transactions. We sit in the middle. Yes, yes. And try and to bring parties together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The funny part is, is that although a lot of cases you see – they don't want, people don't want to end up being bitter. They don't want to be angry. And when you are a family, you do have kids, despite no longer being husband and wife, you'll always yeah. be mom and dad. And your kids are going to look to you to see how you conduct yourselves through the separation as well. They're very intuitive. Absolutely. You still, still are at the graduations, you're still at the weddings, and you're still going to have grandkids down the line. So mm -hmm. it's important that if you're going to have to engage the services of a lawyer or a mediator, yep. that you know that this is, this is going to be for the long haul. It's not something that's just over and done within a day. Yeah, absolutely. All good points. Let me ask you this. Um, how long does the process typically take? Because I've heard of some couples being in courts for years over their, their divorce. So if somebody comes to you, is there an average? How do they know, you know, how long does the process take? I think because of the fact with me knowing exactly what I need from start to finish, it's about six weeks. Um, right now, the way, especially again with COVID, you know, it's taking a lot longer in court. It can take up to three years in court, but I'm able to concentrate my efforts on exactly what I need to make those things happen quicker. And I think that's a huge point for a lot of clients. They just want it done. They don't want to be in this forever. They want to put the past in the past and move forward. So my office and my staff, we all really strive to get this done in, in as little as six weeks. Sometimes it can take longer because we're waiting on documents and everything's a bit slow, but mm -hmm. average is about six weeks. 
You're on uh, Consumers Drive in Whitby. We are. Your phone number there is 416-724-4449. The website is legalboutique.ca. Correct. And people can fill out uh, their name here and just send you an email. Yep, as little or as much information as they want to fill out or they're comfortable with, they'll always get a call back and an email back to see how we can assist. The The good thing, if there is a good silver lining to, to COVID, is that a lot of what we're able to do, we can do via Zoom and via DocuSign. So we are able to, um, it doesn't mean a trip out to Whitby, uh, if you do not reside in Whitby, a lot of our clients do not reside in Whitby, but we are able to get through a lot of that a lot quicker now with the, the different uh, provisions that have been put in place by, uh, by the province. I suppose uh, you have to do that with COVID uh, these days. So, um, okay, well, listen, it's been great chatting with you. It's been awesome chatting with you too. And uh, have a good evening, and I hope, uh, I hope you get a phone call or two. If anybody needs sure. help, this is a fantastic uh, alternative to going the lawyer route and uh, much more cost effective too. It is. Thanks so much, Keith. You're welcome. Take care, Rebecca. Bye. Bye-bye.